The Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 3, Knowing this first, there shall come in the last days scoffers. Did you know there are people that scoff at the Bible? And the reason they scoff, it says, is because of their lust. They don't want God telling them what to do. That's the bottom line every single time. I've never seen an exception to that. After doing over 90 debates at universities and about 7,000 radio and TV call-in talk shows, I'm convinced the only reason people scoff at the Scriptures is because of their lust. There's no scientific reason to reject the Bible, and there's no scientific reason to accept evolution. But they just don't like God telling them what to do. Bottom line. The scoffers are going to say, Where is the promise of His coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. This is called the uniformitarian doctrine. Hey, the way things are happening now is the way they've always been happening. Long, slow, gradual processes. We cover more on that on videotape number four. The Bible says the scoffers are willingly ignorant. Willingly ignorant. In the Greek, that means dumb on purpose. The scoffers are willingly ignorant <clears throat> of how God made the heavens, and notice heaven is plural, and how the earth was standing in the water and out of the water. We cover more on that on videotape number two of our series, what the Garden of Eden was like. But the scoffers are ignorant of the creation, and they're ignorant of the flood. See, the world was overflowed with water and perished. The two things the scoffers are ignorant of are the creation, about 6,000 years ago, and the flood, about 4,400 years ago. They don't want to admit God created the world because that would mean He owns it and He makes the rules. And they don't want to admit there was a flood because that means He has the authority to judge His creation. And I think we as Christians better have a good understanding of what that creation was like and what that flood did to the world so we can understand how things are today and be better prepared to evangelize this world we're called on to reach. Now, the scoffers are also ignorant of the coming judgment. There's a judgment coming soon, folks, to a city near you. Well, the scoffers don't like the creation idea, they don't like the flood idea, and they sure don't like the coming judgment idea. But if we can get a good understanding on these three, I think we'll be more effective in our evangelism of this world. 